Okay, a quick tutorial on doing camera shake in your Unity and Playmaker project. Um, let's go and start from scratch. Plane R to scale. Make it big. I always lock my plane. Nobody likes touching planes once you make them. Let's make some up. square cubes. Make a bunch of these. Control C, Control V, Control V, 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 V. So just stick these a bunch of places all over the place here. There's our scene. There you go to um, the window. Go to Package Manager, and then under you know under your assets, make sure you select the. Package Manager, Packages, um, Unity Registry. That's what's built into Unity and you it's already on your machine if you've installed Unity. But if you type in Cinema Machine, there it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and just click Install. And go ahead and close it. You know, you'll see a new tab up top called Cinema Machine. Also, I installed um, Standard Assets. Okay, if you don't have standard assets already installed, go ahead and grab that. And if you go to standard assets, characters, first person controller, prefabs, rigid body, drag that into your project, plop him anywhere. And if you actually just hit play right now, you should be able to look around and look at your scene. Okay, looks great. Now we're going to add a new cinema machine up top here. Click here, virtual camera. Under the virtual camera to properties, change transposer to third person follow. And right here under follow, go ahead and drag your first person controller. That's what you're going to follow. Once that's assigned, go to the cinema machine properties, go to noise. Change it to basic multi-channel Perlin. And under the profiles, you're gonna select 6D shake. And then for amplitude game gain, we'll leave that as one. Right now that already has a value, but what we're gonna do is right now just dis disable the cinema machine camera altogether. All right, let's make a uh, new FSM. New empty object. Here, go to Playmaker, add a new FSM. Okay, gonna add an action, get mouse button up. Left mouse button, fine. Send event, new event. Create an event, click this to create the tab, control shift over. State, lock our FSM, make sure that's locked. Go to our camera object, it's grayed out because we disabled it. Go to inspector, under here, where we enabled and disabled it. Actually gonna drag that in so we can set properties to it. We're gonna set its property to enabled. Check that box, and that should be it. Okay, so our cinema machine is off until we click the mouse button and then we jump to the state and we just enable it. And let's go ahead and check it. Walk around our Pantheon, click it. There it is, shaking a little bit. And make sure our properties are all working just fine. Click, let's change our cinema machine camera state. Let's go for an amplitude of, oh, Five and do it five times a second or ten times a second to see how crazy it is and that should basically be it now you can do it scripting more scripting with more properties change more camera properties and I haven't I'll go into that later I just want to show this real quick to get you started okay hope this helps making whatever you're gonna make to add camera shape quickly okay thanks bye